kind of just getting used to everything again. What do you, what's the biggest adjustment just getting back out there? Oh, uh, just making sure the offense is going, you know, tempo, tempo is a big thing in our offense. And I feel like just being able to push the tempo and make sure everyone's on the same page, really that's a credit to the O-line. So once they're on the line, everybody else can get lined up. So that's just the thing I got to keep up with. Cause you know. Are you in sync with the O-line now? Do oh yeah, no field? doubt, no doubt. But like I said, like we got a lot to work on. We're nowhere where we want to be and we know we can be, we can be really special, but we just got to put the work in. How tough was it to be out during the competition time? Everyone else is competing for those jobs. Uh, it's tough, you know, it's one of, you can't make the club in the tub. It's one of the hardest things. You're just watching everybody. But at the same time, we was doing rehab. It was a, uh, the rehab guys are kind of working indoors while practice is going on. So a lot of it is in the film room. You know, I'm not able to get the mental reps out here when we're working out in there. So a lot of it was just, it was fall camp. So we had film anytime we weren't on the field anyway. So Coach Jenks, uh, the other running backs, really Steve, really kept us on our game, just helping me out, letting me know what's the deal on the offense, what's new, what we're taking out, what we're game planning for. So, yeah, we're all helping each other out. A, I'm grateful for that. You're, you feel all the way back? All good? Yeah. yeah. Okay. What are your no thoughts on one of your awards last week? Excuse me? What are your thoughts on one of your awards last week? Excuse me? What are your thoughts on one of your awards last week? Award? Award. You was like, recognized. Oh. Oh, shoot. I feel like those are really credits to the whole team and the whole offense, you know, like, of course, the attention kind of comes to one name, but at the end of the day, none of that's really possible without the team success. So it's the guys up front, the guys outside really blocking, everybody else in the running back room and the coaches. So yeah, just grateful for them, really. Does anything stood out to you about Fresno State's defense as far as what you're facing? Yeah, uh, they're a great team. They play fast. They, they really like to keep everything in front of them, and uh, we're just looking forward to competing with them. So, well, What will it take for the run game? We'll just have to execute our assignments, really come out strong. Uh, we just have to play our game and not shoot ourselves in the foot. Can you talk about how stressful or boring it was to be sitting down and injured while you saw the competition running back and forth? Oh, yeah, good. Uh, well, I really feel like everything happens for a reason. And uh, really, God puts you through everything. And he won't put, bring you to something if he won't. If he doesn't plan on getting you through it. So at the end of the day, I really just, you know, try to remain positive because it's easy to be negative in those kind of situations where, like, dang, I'm not allowed to compete right now because my body. But at the end of the day, you're in a situation is what you make of it. And I felt like as long as I attacked every day with some positive attitude, with the intention to get better and get back on the field to help the team, that would be fine. So I'm here right now, and I'm glad for it. And I'm just trying to help the team in as many ways as I can. Since you've been back, or even maybe during your injury, have you talked to Coach Jenks about what he expects from you this year? Uh, well, he kind of just expects all of us to really, you know, push the team, push the offense, really set the tempo and uh, make sure we're just handling our assignments, you know, not make any mistakes. Mistakes are made. That's how the game goes, but really play the next play because that's the only thing you, can, you have control over. And also with the increase in emphasis on pass catching in Graham Harrell's offense, how's that translated for you? How do you think you've adjusted? Yeah, I feel like it's been really helpful towards like every running back in the room as far as becoming an all-around back. Uh, we're catching the ball out of the backfield and it allows us to be a weapon as well. And uh, it feels good to just be included in the passing game, you know. So really keep this on our toes. In high school, did you catch a lot of balls? Was that a big part of your offense? Yes, well, I played, I played some slot in high school. I didn't run no crazy routes. We did, like, little five and outs and screens. But, yeah, it kind of brings me back to those days, I guess. But at the end of the day, Coach Graham really has – and Coach Jinx really has, like, emphasized catching the ball in the backfield. And, you know, they always say play every play like you're about to get the ball. Now that's a real possibility for running backs, too. So. Yeah. Yep.